Stratification. You stratify to make sure that you have enough individuals of a particular group in the treatment and the control, that both groups are strictly balanced. For example, when you stratify on gender, you ensure that there are the same number of men on the treatment and the control group and the same number of women in the two groups. The balance will naturally occur if the two groups are well represented in the experimental sample, but there is a chance of lack of balance if one of the groups is small. Let's take a look to the gender issue in our sample. Tabulate gender of the household head. And we see that there's only 5% of the households where the head is a woman. My concern is that since there are not many, there's a chance for the gender composition to be statistically different in the treatment and the control group. Even if I did a judicious random assignment, this kind of imbalance could happen randomly because the group's small. To stratify in a binary variable, the concept is easy. We only need to randomize separately on each group created by the dummy. Take the woman, randomize into treatment and control, and then do the same separately for the male. Within each gender, individuals have the same probability of being part of the treatment. This is still a randomized control trial. Let me start by sorting the data in a unique order. Sort, sex head, random T. If I browse the gender, I see all the female households first, there are few, and then male households after. As I explained before, the command by sort allows us to execute actions separately for various groups, here the female and male. It will generate a random variable, random t strat, that also comes from a uniform distribution. This is the lottery ticket, right? The assignment is similar, by sort sex head and create an assignment variable t underscore strat within each group. That takes the value of 1 if the random number is below the median. I print a table to see the result t strat sex head. There is a total of 14 female household heads. 7 of them are in the treatment group, the other 7 in the control group. That's a good balance.